Excellent. So, basic details out of the way. The next thing they're looking for are about speed, acceleration, distance, but the maxima, all right? So let's have a look at this. Let's go to uh, C. So, maximum speed. How do I work out maximum speed? Where's that come from? I've, I've kind of already differentiated enough times, haven't I? I only two times is, is enough. There's my velocity function right there, okay? So I want this to be the largest it possibly can be, right? Where does that come from? It comes from, surely it comes from the amplitude of the velocity function, right? Like that's when the velocity function is highest and lowest. I'm looking for speed, that's just the magnitude, the absolute value of it, okay? So therefore, Maximum speed is going to be, I don't have to worry about sine, right? What am I going to get? It's just going to be 4, and I have units. Meters per second. Are you waiting for someone? Even without a teacher, there are classes in all of these rooms. Corridor's having a bad day today. Okay, we've got maximum speed. Tell me what to look for next. Maximum acceleration. Now remember how we found maximum speed by looking at the velocity function and just looking at the extremities. That's a lovely predictable thing about um, all of these trig functions. No, don't tell me about stationary points. Just tell me about the extremes of these, right? So in exactly the same way, I'm going to look at x double dot. There he is, right there. Okay. I don't care which way he's facing, I just want to know the biggest value, okay? What is it? Minus four now, they've said maximum. We know that speed is a scalar, it doesn't worry about direction. Acceleration isn't a scalar, it actually does, the sign does matter. So therefore, if I'm looking for, yes, it's a vector. If I'm looking for a maximum then, which is bigger, four pi or negative four pi? Four pi is bigger, isn't it? I don't think that's really the intention of the question, though. They're looking for just, they really are intending the magnitude. But I don't think there's a nice neat word that we look at, which is just acceleration without worrying about sign. When you say, like, maximum acceleration, uh, you, know, you can't really say that negative four pi is, like, more than four pi, because it's, like, it's, like, <coughs> It's like still just acceleration, it's just in the opposite direction. So that's Correct, what yeah. So that's where we're, we're trying to be... Um, we're trying to be specific and particular with whether we're worrying about direction or not. But when you see, like when they're talking about maximum, they're clearly not really that worried about which direction you're facing. Because again, it's a symmetrical situation. You're either pushing that way or that way. And if you're just worried about the size of it, then that's the number. <laughs> okay? Oh, okay. So don't, don't oh, worry about direction in the context really of maximum. Okay? Okay. Uh, and lastly, the distance maximum distance from the origin. Now, maximum distance, I believe we've kind of already answered this, haven't we? It's the amplitude. In this case, the amplitude of the displacement function is exactly the maximum distance from the origin. So I would just say 4 and pi meters. But think with me, in what cases would the amplitude and maximum distance not be the same? Okay, uh, ooh, hold on a second. So I could, I could have a different starting point, right? For example, I could start at an extreme of motion, but I'm still going to be doing the same thing. I'm still locked between the same... Now he realizes what he's going to say. Doris, do you want to close out? Very good. So if I say, okay, I'm going to start 100 meters up here, okay? The amplitude tells you how far away you are from that center of motion. So you're waving around up here, okay? But the distance from the origin is like this huge distance. So what would you actually say in that case? If, for example, my center of motion was not x equals 0, but x equals 100. Yeah, it'd be... Now, depending on... Let's, let's draw a picture, shall we? Here's my beautiful to-scale diagram of where 100 is. There's my center of motion. Okay. And what is my... Oh, yeah, beautiful scale. Right. I mean, what's 4 and pi? It's uh, a, bit over, a bit over 1. 1.27. There you go, okay, that's the best scale ever. Okay, now in this case, being that my center of motion is in a positive direction, okay, to get the maximum distance, do I add or do I subtract? Add. I add, right? 100 plus 4 pi, yeah? 100 yeah. plus 4 pi, that's clearly further. But if I were to move my center of motion in the negative direction, 
Okay, so now this is clearly negative 100. Okay, so here's my motion. Isn't that beautiful and simple and harmonic? Um, am I going to add 4 pi or am I going to subtract? It's going to be negative plus negative, so negative plus negative. So, the distance is the same, despite Yeah, okay, you're thinking about distance, aren't you? You're thinking about distance, okay? Now, just numerically, if you're thinking about the vectors, right? To get to this furthest place, is it displacement? It should be distance. No, it says distance. It says distance. If I say, okay, where am I? Not just how far, but where am I? This is negative 100. To get to the bottom of motion there, it's negative 100 take away 4 on pi. <coughs> Clearly, you, you're trying to get lower, okay? But this is a question about distance. How far is that from the origin? 100 plus 4 on pi. 100 plus 4 pi, right? Because you're just thinking about measuring that way. You measure 100. You don't care about positive or negative. And then you measure a little bit more, 4 on pi. Right? So it's 100 plus 4 on pi. Yeah. But you also get a different max distance uh, to the amplitude of the function if they said, like, oh, within this specific time interval, and it just doesn't get to the peak or the base. Correct, yeah. If we were to put some kind of restriction on the domain, then your maximum distance would be dependent on, well, do I ever actually take a value that gets me to the extreme of motion or not? Uh, I will point out, in simple homonimation, that's very unusual, because the whole point about it is that it does the same thing forever, okay? But there's no reason why it can't. 